Today I want to talk about Orca Slicer versus Bamboo Studio. I get asked all the time, what is the better slicer? There's a lot of chat and yip yap in the forums, the Facebook groups, and I just want to talk about some of the differences here for you and figure out what slicer is better for you. By the way, my name's 3D Print Dude, and I absolutely love 3D printing. All I gotta say is it's an easy hobby to get extremely addicted to, right? All right, so let's talk about the main differences in Orca Slicer versus Bamboo Studio. The first big main difference is if you have multi-manufacturing brands that are different you know maybe you have Creality or just whatever Orca Slicer might work better for you because it accepts multiple different manufacturers of 3d printers whereas Bamboo Studio pretty much only accepts their Bamboo Lab printers and that being said though they are designed specifically for those printers in itself they're essentially kind of creating an ecosystem like Apple does that being said Orca Slicer is also open source a lot of people like the idea of this and I gotta admit I do like the idea of it as well that's until your 3d prints don't go smoothly though sometimes on bamboo studio it alerts me of something and it just it works with the printer better and it, it, when the print prints the best to its quality i that's what i want at the end of the day right so yes open source is cool you know but until the prints don't work well i'm not saying that happens with orca slicer but sometimes things that work in the same ecosystem just work better that being said bamboo lab has a huge ecosystem i think i heard last christmas they sold over a million printers and this upcoming christmas they forecast three million 3d printers it's quite obvious that bamboo lab is like owning a large share of the community let's just say that Another main difference of Orca Slicer is that it has more features. Orca Slicer actually has support that are working towards kind of working on the experience of a slicer for consumers. But that being said, that's their only job. You guys forget, like a lot of these 3D print manufacturers, they don't have the time to be working on this like other, like, like Orca Slicer does. It's open source. They have tons of people just helping with this. And what I've kind of found is a trend that uh, a lot of these slicers, what happens is when one of them creates a new feature that's really cool a lot of them just sort of like low-key copy it because if we're being honest why not right it happens with everything in technology you know samsung copies apple apple copies samsung it just goes back and forth of new features and that's kind of what's happening with 3d printing slicers so as of recently orca slicer had some cool features that bamboo studio may or may not have had but they'll be playing catch up soon for example organic supports these supports are just higher efficient, they bring better stability for prints, and they use less material while 3D printing. It was a game changer when working with complex or delicate prints. I mean, obviously supports are obviously a huge deal in the 3D print ecosystem, right? And they also had improved slowdowns for overhangs. If you've ever noticed that like glossy to matte transition on a 3D print, it's the limitations of the slicer's algorithm with handling overhangs. And Orcas was doing very, very good it was significantly better and it handles transitions more smoothly giving that higher quality surfaces but that being said a lot of the other slicers are going to be copying all of this if we're being completely honest so bamboo lab strength or bamboo studio is that they have the entire ecosystem with the 3D prints and they work to the best ability with the 3D printers. It's like using the Apple AirPods with the iPhone. It just, it's seamless and it just can't be beaten. And I know most of you might not be Apple users. I'm just using that as a comparison here. So I think the final answer here, the verdict is what slicer should you be using? Orca Slicer versus Bamboo Studio? I think the biggest question is how many 3D printers do you have that are at different makes and models? Because if they're different, Orca Slicer is going to be better for you. I think the next question is, what level are you at with 3D printing? Are you kind of in that moderate to experience? Because Orca Slicer is probably working that working your way there. Whereas Bamboo Studio is if you're a beginner, I would stick with Bamboo Studio, especially if you have a Bamboo Lab printer. A lot of times what happens is whatever type of 3D printer you buy, you usually go with the slicer that comes with like the manufacturing instructions, right? Like if you have Creality, you're using Creality. But yeah, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you're deciding. I figured I would just kind of break this down a little bit for beginners because chances are you're a beginner and you're not in that like whole ecosystem yet. And that's totally fine. Again, I'll throw all links in the description if you need further help. There's cool 3D printers in there, filament deals, et cetera, et cetera, guys. I will see you in the next one. I will see you later. Peace.